I'm raising four sons, and to me, if they grow up to be successful in every way imaginable, but they are disrespectful to women, then I will have failed miserably as a father. We live in a culture in the aftermath of the Me Too movement where people that we respected, men that we respected, men who on the outside seem to be great champions of women and respecters of women, but behind the scenes, they were being vile with women. They were using women and objectifying women. And so how can we treat women the right way, guys? And even more importantly, how can we raise the next generation of men to truly respect the next generation of women? Well, first off, it starts by our example. And we can't have any of what I call the locker room mentality in our mind. The locker room could be an actual locker room, it could be a chat room, it could be a board room, it could be a little room in your mind that you compartmentalize and say, this is a place where it's safe for me to, to let it all hang out. I can be vile, I can, I can objectify women, I can joke in inappropriate ways. And that little compartment of your mind will always, it will always bleed over into the other aspects of your mind. And those thoughts will lead to actions. If you truly want to be a respecter of women, it doesn't just start with your words. It doesn't just start with your actions. It always starts in your mind. Everything we say and do. The Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. So we've got to train ourselves and we've got to train our sons to think of women in the right way. To not look at them as objects. To not buy into the myth and the lies of pornography that, that just completely objectify human beings. We need to think of them not as bodies to be used, but as souls to be cherished, and then to treat them accordingly. They deserve and need our very best. Let's be respecters of women. Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below.